thank you all so much for stopping by today. So, it is a great day. Today, we're getting some much needed rain that I have been hoping for. Um, it's been hot. The heat index has been in the triple digits. And so, um, I've been doing the best I can with trying to keep watering. Now, it is still humid, and that's okay. But let me show y'all what I do inside when it's raining because the gardening does not stop. So, come on. Let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first thing that I did was I went ahead and ground up um, some eggshells. So my friend brings eggs to work for me. And so instead of throwing those eggshells away, what I do is I wash them out really good, let them dry, and then I run them through the blender. I'm going to pulse this a few more times um, just to get it like a powder, but this is great to put back in your garden. I love putting this around my tomatoes and peppers because it's a good source of calcium and magnesium. So we're going to pulse these a few more times, um, put them in a container, and then uh, I'm gonna sprinkle them around some of our vegetable plants in the garden. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is just make like a pasta sauce. I'm gonna totally freestyle it, which is why it's so hard for me to provide recipes. I know a lot of you are like, can you show us how to do this? Or can you give us the recipe? And oftentimes this is what I do. I just freestyle it with what I have on hand. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna blanch some tomatoes and shock them in the water and just um, cut the tomatoes up. I'm gonna saute uh, one of the eggplants that we harvested with some mushrooms and onions. I got some of the peppers over here. And then I got some dried herbs from the garden, a little rosemary, a little thyme, a little oregano. And I'm just gonna let it simmer for hours just to um, build those flavors, build upon the flavors, let them marry, and then we can um, take that sauce and we'll probably put it over some pasta. So another thing that I do when it's raining is I go ahead and um, store the herbs that we have drying. We always have some type of herb on full rotation drying at any given point of the year. Um, this is lemongrass right here. And I also have some chamomile, some holy basil that I have to um, store and some sage, just all types of herbs. So we really have been kicking up growing more herbs in the garden. So many different uses for them. Um, we use them in cooking as spices, as you can see um, with the oregano, but a lot of it we use in teas, especially the lemongrass. So I had to end up buying a new labeler. So I'm going to go ahead and label my mason jar. We already washed and sanitized this. I'm gonna cut this lemongrass up and store it in here. I also had some chamomile that was drying. Um, you can see which ones I kind of like <laughs> the most. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and get those stored too. And we just keep them in a cabinet. Um, and whenever I need them, like it just depends on how I feel or what I'm in the mood for is where I will go and blend up different types of teas and I will make my own herbal tea. So let me go ahead and get that done because that's something that I definitely need to get done. And now is the perfect time since it is still raining outside. So I still have some sage, rose, petals, mint, and um, some more oregano. But what I'm gonna do really quick is um, go ahead and get one of my jars and make some calendula oil in order to make some calendula salve later on. And basically what I do is I just take a mason jar, pack the jar with the dried flowers and pour the olive oil over, making sure I cover the calendula flowers. And I just let it sit in a dark place for about four to six weeks. And after that, it should be ready. I take it out and then um, it's so many uses that you could do with it, but we make it a, a calendula salve. It really helps um, with the skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and get another batch started. So that way um, in about four to six weeks, when it's raining again, 
I can go ahead and make some salve with it. So let me tell y'all, I can keep going on about all of the things that I do when it's raining that I do inside that still pertains to the garden. But this is what I'm gonna do for the next few minutes because what I have done is I've already planted the last little bit of our summer vegetables. So I put one more sowing of everything, but I started those outside and those are outside. But now in about two more weeks, it's gonna be time for me to start planting my fall garden seeds and I'm actually gonna start them inside. So I've pulled out um my seeds this is what i store my seeds in these are just the photo containers and i have one that is for vegetables and herbs and then i have another for flowers and i have ordered some more seeds um, but i'm just going to go through those and just really um, see what i want to plant this fall we know that we're going to plant some uh the collards, mustards, and turnips. I always do that every single year, but I just want to take an inventory of what I have and just kind of map out what I want to plant this year. So you guys comment below. Let me know what are some things that you do inside when it's raining, whether it pertains to the garden or not. I probably should be really making a meal right about now, uh, but I'm gonna wait a little bit and go through this and then I'll get up and see what else needs to be done. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you share this video with your family and your friends. If you are not a subscriber, we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber. So make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a new video. Again, thank you all so, so much for watching. And until the next video, bye-bye.